Yeah, the project to the bone is a uh, a work uh, written by Marty Noxon, and she directed it as well. Um, and she shared with us that it was semi autobiographical. Um, and then, as it turns out, for Lily Collins, who plays the lead, Ellen, uh, who's the character kind of struggling with an eating disorder, biographical for her. So there's this thing of life and art. Um, in terms of the preparation, yeah, absolutely. There's, uh, you know, meeting with physicians and, and learning a little bit about the treatments. And, um, you know, the character that I play and, and, and Marty's journey was a very particular one. And so I had to play this kind of, you know, it's, it's not necessarily all the time traditional approach to an eating disorder. Um, but I wanted to be respectful and, and responsible to, you know, what was said and what's communicated. But the film is a really almost heroic film, I think, and it's it's entertaining, it's fun, and it's tackling a really important subject. And I think it handles it really well that we can have a discussion about it, be entertained, but hopefully, you know, in the best way with art that it's like entertaining, but it's also giving something back. You know? It's, it's the first time I'm being open to talking about my experiences um, related to the film and like you saw on my post, it's just I feel very free. You know, I think the second that we all talk about something we're fearful of or we think that makes us different, we realize we're never alone. And in conjunction with this movie specifically, it would be a, it would I couldn't give justice to why I'm doing this movie appropriately if I didn't respect my connection to it. And to be surrounded by such amazing women during this experience was amazing. And to step back and look at this experience. Um, 10 years on from my, my old experiences was an amazing perspective and I also got to surround myself with medical attention and med medical help and facts that I never did when I was younger so my my knowledge just grew immensely um, of the subject matter and I feel like I just I learned a lot and I got to have a form of therapy in a way one time next to him guys Thank one, you so much. Three, four, five. Well, I, I, I wanted to lose the weight. There was no number of weight to lose, but I wanted to get back in that mindset because I knew what it had felt like. But I also wanted to maintain health and sanity and remain myself. Um, so whatever I did was really for the betterment of Ellen's psychology. Um, but thank God, you know, I was surrounded by my friends and family all the time because I was shooting in L.A. So I was held accountable for all my actions, and I never allowed myself to go back there because the reasons that I went there when I was younger don't apply to me anymore. And so this was for a character and I had to really realize that it's for the betterment of having a conversation with other young women and men out there about it. And it's not about me. It was never about me. It's about the whole picture. Well, when I read it, I was like, it, it just it dawned on me then that I hadn't really seen, at least not in the last 10 years, a film about eating disorders, which is bizarre because almost every single girl and a lot of men that I know have either had personal experience with some kind of eating related uh, like disorder or uh, odd relationship with food or know someone who does. And it's just like, uh, it was it, suddenly I was like, wow, this is really strange, and it's never spoken about, but it's so prevalent. And I just thought this was done in such a uh, the story was summed up in such an amazing way and so heartfelt and real. I made the movie in part because I wanted, I hoped that my story could help other people. Um, and I think that, you know, there's not enough attention paid to people's feelings about food and their body size. And we waste a lot of energy and 
you know, um, mental anguish on stuff we don't need to. So, um, I, but it still has a lot of personal elements. So sitting there and watching it with other people is going to be a little bit of a sweater, you know. To the left. And down here. 